Hello, Oscillator Sync here. A few weeks ago, I put out a video all about distortion on synths and drum machines and samplers and other electronic instruments. And towards the end of that video, I lamented the fact that although there are lots and lots of demos out there with distortion pedals for guitars, basses even, we are kind of thin on the ground when it comes to electronic instruments and distortion pedal demos. Well, almost as if the universe was listening a couple of days after posting that video, Valco FX got in touch with me and told me they had this new distortion pedal coming out and asked me whether I'd like to demo it. I, of course, said yes, because it's great to be the change that you want to see in the world. Here's a sneak peek of some of the sounds you're going to hear in this demo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. Love that. Yeah. The Valco KGB Dist is a distortion pedal which is inspired by the Rat Distortion, which is an iconic distortion pedal from the late 70s. But they have tweaked and enhanced this pedal uh, to add a bunch of features, uh, in particular features which make it uniquely suited to a range of different uh, instruments, whether they are guitars, that's the G, basses, which is the B, or keyboards which is the K, which includes synths, uh, drum machines, and other electronic instruments. In terms of the features that we have here, uh, along the bottom here with our controls, we have the output, which is the volume control, which has a higher headroom to uh, accommodate uh, electronic instruments. We have the distortion control, which adds more distortion. It's essentially a gain control. And we have a filter control here, which is a basic tone circuit, a one pole filter, I think it is, which just allows us to roll off some of the top end if things get a little bit harsh. Moving up to this top row then, uh, we have a switch here which allows us to go between instrument level and line level. So it's uh, kind of built into this pedal that we can accommodate higher output line level instruments like synths and drum machines. Uh, but there's no reason that we can't run a drum machine or a synth through it on instrument. Um, we might just find that it clips a little bit harder. If we are set to instrument, then we also have access to this uh, impedance selector switch here, which is going to change the input impedance. Uh, We'll have to see if that has any real effect on our electronic instruments, but certainly on uh, basses and guitars, especially those with passive pickups. This can uh, be uh, a really interesting way to shape the tone of the initial sound. Uh, we also have a phase switch here, which allows us to put the distortion uh, out of phase, which is going to be interesting if we are, spoiler alert, blending in the dry signal. Um, so uh, here on this rather lovely fader, um, we have a wet dry control. So at the bottom here, we're just hearing the dry signal, the undistorted signal. And at the top here, we have fully distorted and we have, of course, any point in between as a blend. This is going to be, I think, a really big deal when it comes to drum machines in particular, allowing us to do parallel distortion. So that's going to allow us to smash the sound with the distortion, but still maintain the impact of the original dry sounds by finding a nice blend in the middle there. Uh, yeah, excited to try that out. At the top here as well, we have, um, as well as our standard input and output, we have a separate dry output. So that allows us to tap the dry signal without having to use a mixer or anything in our door. So if we want to process the dry sound separately to the distorted sound or just record it separately, we can do that really, really easily. Finally, we have this voice knob here. As I mentioned, the Rat is a iconic pedal. It's been around for a long time. It's seen many iterations and many mods have been done to it over the years. And the voice control here allows us to choose essentially four different types of um, clipping circuits inside the pedal, which is going to give us different characters of clipping. So um, at the bottom here, we have uh, clipping achieved by germanium uh, diodes, uh, which was um, what was used in the original Rat pedal. This um, Germanium tends to be a little bit darker, a little bit spongier and characterful, um, interesting the way it reacts to the dynamics of the sound. Um, moving up here, 
uh, we have silicon diodes so these will tend to be a bit brighter and a little bit quicker to react to the dynamics of the sound um, potentially a little bit brasher in some cases so we might want to roll off some of the, the top end with a filter we'll see how we go with that and next here we have clipping which is achieved by using leds instead um, this will generally be the lowest gain um, or what we uh, hear is the lowest gain because it will clip less it tends to have a raw more open um, brighter sound and literally brighter as well because the leds will flash on and off inside there uh, as we feed in the signal and finally the one i'm most excited to explore is this uh, last setting here which is clipping achieved solely by using the op amp chip which is in here um, i've owned a number of rap pedals uh, with these um, options here i've never owned a rap pedal where the clipping is done just with the op amp i don't know what that's going to sound like so i'm really excited to find out so the rest of this video is going to be demos i will uh, try and keep chat to a minimum but i will occasionally pipe up to uh, highlight what i'm doing or if i spot something that's particularly cool um, we'll have a look at um, some sort of acid type baseline stuff we'll have a look at some synthy pads uh, we'll look at some drum machines and we'll also run some samples through it as well to see how um, we can use the kgb distortion to find new sounds let's get going Okay, let's start with some 303 style vibes. So that's just the Nora Mono, uh, just a single oscillator. And I've set the filter quite dark so that the um, distortion has something to generate harmonics with uh, rather than start too bright. Okay, so the pedal is turned on. I'm currently on germanium mode and the blender's turned all the way down, so we're just hearing the dry sound. Distortion's fairly high. Filter is turned down, which means that it's at its brightest. So let's just hear what each of the different voice modes do and you'll notice as I go through them they're going to get louder so we just need to uh, accommodate with the output volume a little bit so let's go to full distortion on the germanium cool silicon it's a little bit brighter and a bit more sort of bitey. Very cool though. Okay, uh, LEDs. Yeah, that's really cool. So not as sort of clipped, but it's got that lovely sort of raw scrunch to it. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, and finally this op-amp mode here. That's really pulling out the mid-range and it's kind of a bit... almost gated and fuzzy. That's really cool. That and the LED on this 303 stuff sound grey. Crank distortion. Okay, that's with uh, there's our dry sound. Let's just try and balance them. That's cool. So that's with the dry and distortion sort of nicely balanced there. So full distortion is. You can hear we lose some of the impact a little bit. Having that dry control is key. Let's just try it with the op-amp one again. filter so this should take some of the top end out as we turn it up let's try the silicon again and we'll be take some of the 
sure that top end out with the wet dry engaged as well. Yeah, so you can kind of emphasize that lower mid but still have some of that sort of aggressive fizz to it. Germanium. Love these top two though. Ah, oh, that one especially. Yes. Uh, so we've also got this um, phase invert here. Let's just give that a go while we've got them blended. That's going to take up the bottom end as we phase cancel a little bit. So you could legitimately use that as kind of a transition thing. And probably the same with the filter there as well. Basic high cut, but effective. I love what it does to the upper mids there. Try the slightly brighter cut off, maybe with both oscillators in. Germanium. Silicon. LED. Pop-up mode. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to give it something a little bit darker than you would have done maybe otherwise. Because it has more to do. <laughs> so you have a bit more nuance in the attack with these last two modes, I think. Okay, let's try something with this dry out, shall we? So I've gone and grabbed the Zoya, and what I've done is I've taken the dry output uh, from the KGB dist and brought it into the Zoya, and this has got a stereo delay um, patch just set up, just simple stereo delay with a high pass um, before the delay just to take some of the low end out. So what this allows me to do is have uh, the main sound nice and distorted on my favorite op amp mode, the one I've decided is my favorite. Uh, and if I bring up the gain on the Zoya now, we should hear we have a delay signal, which is the original dry sound. So this uh, sound here. clean sound out to the side but we can get filthy in the middle here even make it dark in the middle and keep it the delay nice and bright on the outside Almost like we've got kind of two different vibes going on at the same time. Thank you. 
Yeah. Very cool. Very nice utility to have here, for sure. Cool. Let's try it with some pads, shall we? Right, I've grabbed old reliable Korg Minilog and I've just set up this really simple, dark pad patch, just a triangle wave, single oscillator, just so that the pedal has something again to grab onto so we can hear what it's doing. And I've started with the distortion quite low here and up on the op amp mode, because uh, as I was setting up for this, I discovered something quite lovely. So this, with the distortion quite low, we can go from this dark kind of sound and just rather than obviously distorting, just blend in this exciting top end. There's a bit of fizz to it, but it's almost like I've opened up the filter. I love that. And finding that point in the middle where we have both the high end and the low end. I think that's quite, quite magic from this to this. So just using it like an excite almost. But of course we can bring that distortion up a little bit as well. But let's just leave the distortion low just for a second and try the other modes here. So back to full. Uh, distortion, LED. Quite similar at the gain level, just a bit more fizz. Which is interesting because on the bass, it, these two had very different mid-range characteristics. So at lower gains, I guess that's less prominent down to silicon. More obviously distorting. It's still very lovely at this lower gain setting. And this is the dry sound. Kind of like a, a lo-fi brightening, if that makes sense. And germanium. Oh, hello. Even at this low gain level, we're starting to introduce those additional harmonics on the top there when we play chords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. Love that. That's beautiful. Half and half. They sort of pseudo feedback sounds. Gorgeous. Now let's go a bit more drive. Throaty and definitely uh, emphasizing the higher notes. Let's try silicon. Immediately more bottom end. some reverb to that and we are done lovely uh, okay so high again with the led a 
so low again so we can play more notes without it starting to introduce the, those additional harmonics it's so much more open so that's the silicon and the LED is so much more open and the distortion up at the top is more sort of crunchy Top amp, high gain. So it's the darkest of the lot. And that distortion is a lot, um, the crunch at the top is a lot more sort of um, coming on suddenly. Let's just try um, high gain uh, with that germanium, which introduced all those mid-range square wavy stuff going on there. But let's try inverting the phase. Interestingly, more bottom end. Which just goes to show, if you're blending wet dry, definitely check out that phase control. Let's just put a little bit of reverb on here. synth shoe case. Let's uh, let's give a drum machine a go, shall we? Right for drums, I have grabbed the Drum Brute Impact, and I've got this little pattern going here. And I thought to begin with, let's listen to it with the distortion absolutely cranked, so we can hear the pedal sort of hanging on for dear life to hear the different characteristics of the voices as well. So filter wide open, distortion absolutely cranked. Let's hear the distortion. So that's germanium. Next up we've got silicon. A little bit harder, but more bottom end. Individual elements are a little bit more clear, even with the kick taking over. Cool. So that's the LED. Again, perceptively less clipping. And more bottom end again. Cool focus in the mid range though. It's every time with the LED. Love what it's doing with that little FM jump. Okay, um, onto the op amp mode. So darker, 
Then the LEDs. Low again again. This to me almost sounds like um, like a, a, a mixer console channel being overdriven a bit more. It's cool. Really vibey. Not as obviously exciting as the LED version. But maybe actually a little bit dark is going to fit in the mix a bit better. So um, it's on uh, a drum machine, I think. God, doesn't the uh, clean version sound boring now? It's on a drum machine, uh, I think, where the wet dry is particularly powerful because it allows us, even though we're absolutely mashing the sounds, to uh, get some of the attack and clarity from the original sounds back in there. So uh, let's give that a go. So I've come back down to the germanium, which was the absolute crushiest of the crushiest. Uh, so that's the full wet. We lose a lot of bottom end there. So let's find a nice happy medium where we can get a bit more of the low end and an attack in there. Yeah. Parallel distortion on drum machines is so powerful. Let's flip that face. Ooh, the low end of that kick is just absolutely blown up. Let's kind of scoop the sound out a bit. That's mad. In phase. And out of phase. Yes. Amazing. Okay, same trick with uh, silicon. Let's try that. So that's a nice spitty silicon sound. Find that happy medium. Cool. Flip the phase. quite as pronounced as the germanium but still that bottom end is a bit more there now great let's try it with LED that's full wet somewhere there oh, that's with the face flipped in phase. Kind of a more neutral sound. Out phase. Again, that bottom end, more pronounced. A bit scoopier. And the up amp mode. So that's full wet. with the phase flipped. Back in phase. Weirdly, I think the kick drum's punchier now. Maybe not as much bottom end. Yeah, the kick drum kind of disappears a bit with the phase flipped. It seems to have more bottom end but less punch. Again, the op amp mode just is a really cool way to just get excitement into the sound. Yeah, I love it. Let's just whiz back round to the germanium for a second. And I just want to try uh, filtering it a bit with it blended. Because you can now, because we've got so many different um, aspects of the sound going on, we can kind of fine tune what's getting distorted. So wide open, a lot of that hi-hat fizz. A 
point where it filtered it halfway, it's much more about that snare. And the claps. Loads of colors we can find there. Filter knob is especially useful on the drum machines because again we've got so many different aspects there the hi-hat the crispy hi-hats the boom of the kick drum the thwack of the clap and the snare yes silicon <laughs> yeah so the filter more powerful here i think than not more powerful, but more um, practically useful than with the other sources we've tried. That's a cool sound. Really vibey. stuff. Fantastic on drum machines. Really like it on drum machines. Cool. Finally, let's try this friend out with some samples. So I've just got a couple of loops um, going here, which I can just turn on. Just got a couple of different layers, just so we have something suitably complex for it to get a hold of. A bit of spoken word there in the background, why not? And um, just while I was setting up, I just want to start uh, again with this idea of having the op-amp mode um, on low gain and using it as a kind of exciter. So um, filter wide open, low gain, op-amp mode, and let's turn the blend up a little bit. detail beautifully just a tiny bit of coloration and crunch at the top end but it just feels like we've taken a blanket off the signal uh, I think that's really lovely the way you can hear the um, the pedal on the piano now so without that pedal kind of goes unnoticed but there's lovely detail that gets picked out there. Let's try some of the other modes with this low gain as well. Uh, so this is uh, the LED mode. That little click there is um, the sample, not the, uh, the KGB there. So again, just lovely enhancement of the sound. Nice to blend in. And again, yeah, flipping the phase on pretty much all the modes apart from the op-amp one gives us a slightly more scooped sound with a bit more bottom end. Same with um, the drum machine. A bit more focus in phase. Uh, okay, let's try the silicon with low gain. Oh, that's nice. So we're finally hearing some obvious crunch there. It's just a lovely lo-fi, crispy, almost like vinylizer. That's nice. Like it with it half and half. Cool. Let's try germanium. So finally more overt distortion. overpowering though it's just adding some lovely grit and color let's just try and approximate those similar levels of grit with one of the other modes so silicon here just get a bit more distortion it's 
So you can hear there that the silicon again is slightly harder on set. Not as pillowy as the germanium was. Let's try it with the LEDs, try and get that grit in there as well. Yeah, so again, much faster on set with the LEDs. So again, maybe want to filter some of it out. quite crispy distortion but I think that's a little bit handling it a little bit more elegantly than the LED was but the germanium there blended in was at lower gain was really rather lovely it's very let's say pillowy Okay, let's just crank it. Oh, first, let's just try filtering it down a bit. Yeah. That's really nice. Interesting. I've come full circle here with the bass lines. The op amp was my favourite, but now the germanium on the samples. Especially with the filter down. Okay, let's try crunching things up to the max, shall we? So that's fully distorted. It's almost an entirely different signal. But the onset's still quite... gentle. Silicon. LED. Now we've got more gain, it's more constantly clipping, it's a little bit less crackly. Op amp. Scoopiness. Oh, it's almost roaring there. sample at least. That's lovely. So much interesting colour we can coax out there. And it sounds good at all different gain levels as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, deep dive into the KGB dist. Um, although this isn't a, a review, one thing I will highlight with it, which um, isn't really a downside, but it's just something to be aware of, I guess, is that um, the range of output you get on the different modes, and again, uh, with the balancing of the distortion and the output, is quite vast. So you do need to be a little bit careful as you switch modes that you're not going to blow out your speakers or your ears. Um, 
because the op amp mode is so much louder than the germanium mode um, and gets so much louder with distortion than the germanium mode does the germanium kind of tops out whereas the op amp keeps getting louder so you need to be a little bit careful um, but having a distortion pedal with these different voicings with the phase switch to get different colorations and uh, with the dedicated dry out and the blend here um, really does make it um, very well suited to this world and one thing I didn't mention right at the start which I will mention now is goodness me is it a handsome pedal what a lovely looking thing anyway uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the KGB distortion if you did enjoy it and if you want to see more um, distortion reviews with electronic instruments then please do give the video a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming synth fun and maybe distortion fun too. So um, until next time, take care.